Welcome everyone to this video which is not going onto my official channel because I deem it quite boring. For this we are going to need anthracene, bromosuconamide or whatever this strange stuff is called, elemental bromine and stichloromethane. Before starting off I'll let you have a quick look at anthracene under UV lights and as you can see it has this ghostly green look and it's very beautiful. Anthracene and NBS have about the same molecular weight and we weighed out 2 grams of each. The NBS and bromosuconamide, yeah I know my spelling sucks, but it's a brominating agent and it's not as harsh as bromine. The anthracene and the stirfish were added to the small round bottom flask, followed by about 50 milliliters of DCM as a solvent. There were quite a few specs for anthracene on my glove as you can see here. I decided to add the dichloromethane under UV lights because I thought that it might look cool. Stirring was turned on and I added additional DCM to top it off at about 50 milliliters. In comparison to elemental bromine, NBS will only slap one bromine atom onto the anthracene rings, while bromine is slapping on two of them. NBS is this whitish yellow powder with a faint smell of bromine. I needed to see what it looks like under UV lights, but apparently it just looks black. The stopper was removed, the brominating agent was added and we stirred it until it looked like something happened. I took out the UV flashlight again and took a quick look, it still fluoresced nicely. We stirred it for 20 minutes and in the end it did not fluoresce as nicely anymore. This is a crude separation but sakinamide is somewhat soluble in water while the bromoanthracene is going to stay in the DCM and therefore I decided to add it to a separatory funnel alongside some water. Normally I would need to evaporate off the solvent, followed by washing with water to really only get rid of the sakinamides, but this is not a preparation I'm going to dive into deeply because I only want some product and it doesn't need to be pure. The funnel was simply shaken and then the bottom layer was drained off, followed by evaporating off the solvent. The dibromination using elemental bromine and not NBS will have to wait for a separate video and yeah. This is it, there you are left with some nice product. Like to help me out with the algorithm and see you on the next video, bye.